you know what the only thing is that's keeping me from really going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs right now is the fact that the Braves swept the Phillies. But I got to get into my car here because I'm about ready to go off. Yep. First off, before I get into the rage, where are you hiding? I expect my money, sir. Stop procrastinating. All that crap that you talk all the time on Twitter. All about your failures. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Laughing at my team's failures. And we just did exactly what, well, I didn't say we were going to sweep you. That was, that's, this is a very exciting bonus. I said we would make you angry, despondent, pissed off. We would mollywop you. We would make you dejected. We would make you rage. Well, we swept you three straight games. So that is satisfying enough. So give me what I deserve, sir, before I really go off. Arthur Smith, you dumb idiot. Being a Falcons fan is extremely difficult. I have never been... Well, actually, I cannot say never. Because it seems like I feel this way all the time with this Falcon football organization. Finally, and I want to win every game. Trust me, I do. But finally, I actually succumbed to the fact that we were not going to win against the defending champion Rams in L.A. I said all goddamn week that we were not going to win the game. Because after what I saw in that fourth quarter against the Poodats, by the way, thank you, Bucks, for beating them idiots. I said we were going to lose. I said we would play competitive. But I didn't expect it to be in the fourth quarter. I finally succumbed. And act I'm actually watching a butt whipping. That we're getting molly whopped, Destroyed. Beat down. And I'm not actually pissed. I said the only way that I would get pissed all week long. Is if the Falcons have a chance to win. And they blow it. Well, they didn't have a double-digit lead, but they had a chance to legitimately steal this game, man. Oh, my God. Sports gods, if I could smack every one of you, I would do it. But I'm a religious guy, sort of, and I believe in God. How do you, how do you get our, how, how can you turn me? How can you get me from feeling acceptable to a loss, not that I like losing, to feeling this way in a car? I didn't even get into the car last week against the Pudats when we had that collapse in the fourth quarter. No. When I get into the Slidomobile, there's a reason. Because I want to yell at the top of my goddamn lungs. I don't want to do it in the house. I don't want to do it outside. I feel like I may break something. But the Falcons are getting utterly destroyed, 28 to 3. Of course, sports gods, you got to bring that 28 to 3. Then the Falcons make it 28 to 10. And then 28 to 17. I'm sorry, 28 to 3, 28 to 10, 31 to 10. And then the fourth quarter tease happens. 31 17. Get the block punt. Run it in for a touchdown. Complete the two point conversion. Actually, down by six points. One touchdown and an extra point. The Rams get the first down around midfield. Cooper Cup fumbles the ball. We get the ball in the Rams' territory. We take it down to the 19. Drake London's making some moves. Marcus Mariota's making some plays to Drake London. And then we throw in the end zone to Braylon Edwards, or whatever his name is. No Kyle Pitts in the area. We didn't use Kyle Pitts not once on that drive. You got a guy that's six foot whatever. And you don't even use them. I don't get it, Arthur Smith, you dumbass. I do not get it why you have a guy that tall, a thousand yards last year, your number one pick, and you don't even use them in the crunch time. You use a guy that you picked off the scrap heap in free agency who doesn't even start on the team he was previously with. Why? I don't get it at all. I 
I do not get it at all. I don't understand any of you coaches. From Jim Moore to Mike Smith to Dan Quinn to Dean Pease to Steve Sarkeesian. I don't understand none of y'all. I don't even understand Kyle Shanahan. He choked in the Super Bowl. I don't get it. I do not understand why you don't want to win. Why you don't make the smart plays when it matters. Why is Kyle Pitts not being targeted? And you throw it to the end zone. Where is he? Is he on the bench? Is he picking his nose? Is he running a fake route to take a receiver away from the play defender? What are you saying? We're going to drop this play in crunch time. We got a chance to steal the game. And we're going to use Kyle Pitts as a decoy to throw to Edwards. I've never heard of him until he got signed with us. I haven't heard of half of the guys, 90% of the guys that we have on our team. But I do know Kyle Pitts and Drake London, and you chose not to use them. <sighs> and then we get the ball back for some damn reason. Six seconds to go at the 50. You figure Marcus Mariota can throw a 50-yard pass to the end zone. Yes, there's no guarantee we would have completed the pass. But just as you know, if you throw the ball deep, you got a chance to either get a pass interference or a touchdown on a bounce. And Marcus Mariota steps up in the pocket where he should have threw it. And instead, he's running backwards. He tucks the ball. He's running backwards. And then he fumbles the ball, and the game is over. We don't even get a chance to get a Hail Mary. We don't even get a chance to pull an app. You see what happened in the App State game? He threw it from 55 yards, and they got the touchdown in the end zone. At the five and ran it in. You didn't even give us a chance, man. Ah, oh, even when I am expecting a loss, I wound up raging. Even when we're down 25 points and we cut it to six and we have a chance at the 19 yard line on third down, and we can't do it. Only the Falcons, man. I swear to God. I I didn't think it could get worse than last week. Yeah, it did. We actually had a chance to reverse what happened to us. We blew the game last week against the Pudats in the fourth quarter. And we had a chance to steal it right back against the defending champs in their house. And you blew it. You couldn't get it done. Am I angry? Yes. Some might think I'm overreacting. Yes, Mom, if you watch this, I love you. I know you don't understand what I do a lot of the times, but I am passionate. I want to see the Falcons win. They had a Super Bowl title ripped out from under me here when you still were here. So you know what I went through. And even though you're not here no more, I know you know. I'm passionate. I wouldn't be going to Seattle next week if I wasn't passionate playing, paying over $1,000 to get a plane flight to the Pacific Northwest, five-hour flight, which I will enjoy, by the way, to go hey, watch the Falcons, an 0-2 football team, a team that was predicted to do nothing this year. Why? Because I love my team. I've always wanted to meet Norb Cam. I've always wanted to go to Seattle. But I love my team. I've flown to Philly because I love my team. I drove to New Orleans because I love my team. I want to see us win. The Falcons realistically could be 1-1. and Well, definitely should be 1-1. One and one, But they could be 2-0 and oh also. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, people. You cannot make this stuff up. You cannot. Please go subscribe to Laugh Not Famous. I believe his rant is going to be epic as hell. None of us thought we were going to win this game or have a chance, and it didn't look like it. And then they just poked at us and poked at us and poked at us, got our hopes up only to crush them. How can you crush someone's hopes when they had no hope to begin with? I'll tell you how. Just be the Atlanta Falcons and an Atlanta Falcons fan. They'll find a way to do it. Ugh.
I will be doing a live reaction to the Falcons idiotic, moronic press conference. Probably not going to do it today because I need it to settle tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow after work. I'll do it tomorrow after work. I'm not even going to watch the press conference today because I want to give you all a live reaction. I just want to soak this in and enjoy the brave sweep over the Phillies today. That's the only thing that's keeping me sane. Some might think I'm borderline psychotic right now. But this, these, you couldn't have asked for a more gut-wrenching kick in the gut two weeks, first two weeks of the season than these. We're 0-2 when we realistically should be at least 1-1, one one, possibly. If the sports gods didn't like us, or would have liked us, we'd be 2-0. and oh. You know, I'm going to steal the pace from... From Laugh Not Famous. I wish I had four quarters here. I have a quarter, I have one quarter, a couple dimes and nickels that might add up to four. I don't know. But my God, just when I thought I had it easy. Ugh, just do me a favor, Falcons. Please don't disappoint me in Seattle. Please give me a win. I'm going to be flying all, all across the, the United States, it seems like. I don't know where the hell Seattle is, Pacific Northwest, to root you guys on. Please. Don't let me down. But I have I cannot imagine more, two more painful games to start the year. Really. I can't. I can't. Just a crying shame, man. Just a crying shame. I can imagine Arthur Smith in his press conference. A little big tub of goo. But I do want to give the Falcons credit in the fourth fourth quarter. The, the defense played better. They gave the Falcons a chance to win. The defense still has a lot of issues. Dean Pease, you old fossil, you suck. But they 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 put themselves in a situation to pull off this miracle win. But of course, the sports gods are not Falcon fans, and uh, they wanted to see us suffer. Well, add another one to it. My stream reached over 100 plus views at one point. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Ugh, just pathetic. Heartbreaking. It, it never ceases to amaze me. Just when I've seen something and I didn't think it would get any worse, well, it did. Subscribe to the channel. Share it to all your outlets. Click the notification bell. Like button. Cash out PayPal Super Chat. Thanks option are available. I am going to calm down now. Sports Live in the ATL. Seattle, I'll be seeing you next week. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm.